Guys, natural lang after any Apple launches, next thing to do is to look for review. And of course, tayo dito sa Gadget Psychic, we already have the iPhone 14 Pro Max here. And today, I'm going to tell you kung anong na-feel ko dito sa phone na ito right after ng kanyang debut. And I believe that this phone has some significant upgrades. But of course, it's not the best iPhone ever. Tara, usap tayo. So hi guys, ako pa si Richmond ng Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. And today's video guys is being sponsored by our friends from Toras. And they have sent me all these cases and all these tempered glass for me to try on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. And in a little later, papakita ko sa inyo yung mga case na ito. And well, pretty much ang dami no. And by the way guys, itong iPhone 14 Pro Max na dito sa aking kamay is a dummy unit. But it's the actual size and actual dimension. Basically, it's the real deal na hindi lang nag on So, peel off ko muna ang kanya screen guard. And ang dami sa inyo nagsasabi na the iPhone 14 Pro Max looks exactly the same as the 13 Pro Max. And you are damn right dahil it's exactly the same with uh, some upgrades. But, well, significant but hindi siya malaking jump. Now, pag-usapan natin a little bit about those details dito sa video na ito and what I think about this phone. Guys, this phone will be available at Beyond the Box pretty soon and I'll be posting on my Facebook page ang kanyang price once na in-announce dito sa Philippines. Now, first things first, ang napansin natin dito sa phone na ito is tinanggal na nila yung notch. Pinalitan nila na hole punch. So, it's basically a oblong na sa in replacement of the notch. So, basically, it's something na kakaiba. It's kind of unique, but at the same time, parang if you're a gamer, pag gumagamit ka ng phone, parang, well, it's nothing really different from a notch except na nakahiwalan siya dun sa kanyang bezel. That's it. And itong hole punch has some features na nakatago. Especially yung dynamic island na sinasabi nila. It has some features na pretty soon malalaman natin pag once na full review na natin itong phone na ito. It can turn into a music player. It can turn into yung call na icon. And it has a little bit more function other than just being hosting two cameras and one sensor. So I think it's something innovative. And pretty soon, I'm sure na yung mga Androids baka magkopyahan na naman. Tulad dati na nagkopyahan sila nung notch ni iPhone. Now, another thing na nag-catch ng aking attention is that ang kanyang selfie camera sa harap is quite improved. It can let in 30 to 8% more light. Meaning, mas magandang mga shots natin. Lala, especially now na people are using the selfie camera more often than the rear camera. Taking TikTok, Instagram photos, Facebook, and, well, probably even Twitter. Now, alam natin the most cameras sa Android, ini-improve nila is the rear camera. 108MP, 200MP, lahat sa likod. But si Apple, it focuses more on the front camera. Giving you more creativity, well, especially when you are a TikTok lover. And another thing na minention ni Apple is that this one already supports satellite connectivity. Meaning, kung nasa bundok ka, nasa tuktok ka ng Mount Pinatubo, and you need to Make a call. Well, you won't be able to make a call, but you can just make emergency na, well, probably messaging to your loved ones na letting your family know na sa tuktok ka na ng vulcano. Mm, I think I got it wrong. Volcano, vulcano. But this service would come in free for the first two years, but eventually may buy it siya after the first two years. I'm not quite sure kung pati dito sa Pilipinas covered ba tayo or just simply doon lang sa United States of America. Now, itong iPhone 14 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch na Super Retina OLED display. It's LTPO, meaning it can dynamically switch between 1 Hz to 120 uh, Hz of screen refresh rate. And another thing na na-add dito sa kanya is the always-on na display, which is, well, uh, it's nothing new sa Android, but this one, it can use up to 1 Hz sa kanya display on the front camera, making sure na yung transition mo between the, ho the lock screen to the home screen is sobrang seamless. And well, I think it's something na, well for me, it's an upgrade na, it's a feature na would be welcoming sa mga iPhone users. On top of that, this phone has 2,000 nits the maximum brightness, which for me, probably the highest uh, brightness ever seen ko, for me, I've ever seen on any smartphones. I think the highest that I try ko on an Android is 1,600 nits. Yun na pinaka -tuk -tuk. But this one, 
winasak niya. 2,000 nits guys. Sobrang bright nito. And like the 13 Pro Max, this one has a scratch resistant na ceramic coating and of course, oleophobic coating to make sure na, well, splash proof din siya. Now, in announced ni Apple na this one already comes with the A16. It's a 4 nanometer chip. And sabi naman ng iba, ang improvement from A15 to A16 is not that big. Unlike si Snapdragon 8 to 8 Plus Gen 1, nakita natin on our previous video na ang laki ng kanilang lundang. Significant ang kanyang changes between the two generations of chip. But this one, sabi nila, well, incremental increase. Like any Apple devices being released from series to series. And ang RAM nito is being fixed at 6 gigs of RAM. But ang kanilang storage can vary from 128 gigs of storage to a 1 terabyte of storage. But of course, ang kanilang presyo, I'll be revealing it pretty soon once na in-announce ni Beyond the Box. Now, this is probably the most significant change for me ah, dito sa iPhone 14 Pro Max. It finally, finally, it has a 48 MP na main camera sensor after years and years of using just a 12 MP camera. I mean, it's been ages na lagi siyang stuck sa 12 MP. But this time around, I think they finally see the need na mag-upgrade sa 48 MP. Not probably because bibigyan ka ng more pixel count, but probably I think they need it to give you more creative photos, taking those cinematic video, and of course, mga outstanding photos na Apple quality. And to show you proof that this is the dummy ng 14 Pro Max, here it is, nakaprint dito. And of course, I'm sure that there are other tech bloggers who would be bashing me na I might be showing the 13 Pro Max instead of 14, dahil halos magkamukha naman sila, halos exacto. But apparently, it's a 14 Pro Max. Thanks to Toras. Now guys, like I said, itong video nito is being sponsored by our friends from Toras. And I have here uh, tempered glass and some really nice cases na, well, I pretty much believe na matibay maganda ang mga Toras na products. And I've been using them for quite some time. And this one, let's just simply start off with the screen protector dito sa iPhone 14 Pro Max. Putting everything aside, let's just see uh, about this product. And probably we'll be using this one on our 14 Pro Max once na dumating na ating order from Beyond the Box. And this is the package content and pretty much ang ganda ko kayo ng packaging. And this is the screen guard and hindi lang isa, no? Dalawa pang screen guard ang kasama sa loob. And pretty much it. And yeah, I, I believe na this is something to have as a backup in case na nabasag nyo isa. At least, meron ka pang backup, no? Which is really something nice na hindi mo kailangan bumili ng dalawa. Of course, having two separate packaging uh, for the same product. Kasi yung mga tempered glass, normally, pag medyo clumsy ka, I think, six months down the road, may makita ka ng chip off sa kanto dahil, siyempre, nalaglag, nabasag, or, of course, yung pinapayaran mo sa mga anak mo. I'm sure, one way or the other, kahit papado, magkakaroon ng kunting chip off yan. And of course, it's nice to have a backup like this one to, of course, keep it really smooth experience. Uh, so, sakto, sakto lang siya here for our 14 Pro Max. And definitely, we'll be trying it on once na uh, dumating ating uh, actual unit. So, here are some wipes, some manuals. Ito ka ng guide. No? This is pretty much the most important one na kakailangan ni mo once you uh, stick on that uh, tempered glass sa inyong iPhone 14 Pro Max. And of course, ang kanya ng squeegee na panula sa screen para mawala yung bubbles. So, isa-isa yun natin mga case na pinadala nila. So, this is what we call the Taurus Diamond Clear Slim Tin na case. So, just quickly see. And halos natin naman ang ginawa ni Taurus. It's pretty nice. And wow, this is really slim. And sturdy ah. Hindi siya basta-basta na case, clear case. Once I slap this to the back, it will look something like this. It's pretty nice, no? Not some clear colors. It's uh, really malinis and very attractive thing, na, no? And for some people who like simplicity, I think this one is really nice just for you. Lala yung sides kito pa rin na shiny pa rin ang sides. Now, moving on, we have here the Taurus Mars Climber Color Black. So, tingnan natin. So, Marsh Climber niya, no, is always the one na meron stand pang no, no video. Okay. So, black ang kanyang border and likod is 
frosted finish and this uh, more rugged finish for people who likes uh, hindi yung sobrang loud okay? kasi yung clear case medyo masyadong agaw tingin but this one medyo buwabawas ang kanya pagkaagaw attention medyo mas subtle siya na konti not letting people know na it's an iPhone but well alam naman nila connect siya na iPhone so yeah needless to say na alam din naman nila and this is how it looks like if you put it at the back and it kind of uh, may pagka smoke black finish no, dito sa kanyang color silver variant ng iPhone 14 Pro Max and well the this one you can put it as a stand pwede mo adjust ang kanyang angle depende sa gusto mo and this is pretty much it and very portable siya now the next one is the Topaz magnetic design it's a, another color black case which we want to see to try this out in China and this one has some buttons you know pwede mo pampalitin sa gilid we'll be trying it on once na dumating ang ating actual unit maybe not now so pwede mo i-pop out to mga buttons na ito and ito is more of pang para sa magsafe niya no? it's uh, kind of different the design niya medyo kakaiba lang siya and if you want medyo mas loud konti you can pop this out and change it to the color that you want be it yellow or red nasa sa inyo and I guess itong likod na to has a magnet para I'm not sure maybe pang mount nila somewhere para mas makapit now the next one we have here is Tora's Moon Climber na uh, clear design so a while ago meron natin is uh, frosted matte finish design so this time around mas clear ang binigay sa atin so this house, how it looks like, it's basically the same clear case na merong stand lang sa likod. And putting it at the back, it kind of looks something like this. If you like yung original design niya, na yung ganda ng iPhone, uh, together with a very handy na stand sa likod, I think this is a perfect choice for you. What we have here is a Tora Shockproof na case. And, well, this kind of intrigues me kasi ang mga shockproof na case yun ang mga for me panalo ah kasi medyo rugged tayo gumamit so something na shockproof would be delightful sa akin kasi there are times na nababagsak natin accidentally, intentionally or what do we say it's of course nalaglag okay so this the same pwede mo palitan itong mga buttons uh, red and yellow like this one so, okay, maganda rin kanyang design. Pretty much the same sa kanina, except wala siyang magnet na mag-save sa likod. This is how it looks like. Overall, sa dami na pinadalang case, I feel that this one is the perfect one for me dahil, well, uh, I don't really watch too much movie on the go. And I pretty much watch my movies uh, sa akin TV and sa akin laptop. And, but of course, it's a plus kung meron kayong mga stand. But definitely, this one is the most simple for me na hindi masyado loud and for me it's probably the classic na look na shock pro so quickly tour ko lang kayo dito sa phone na ito sa ilalim meron siyang loudspeaker and of course ang kanyang microphone in and of course ang kanyang lightning port on the side is the power button sa ibabaw shiny walang laman on the other side ang kanyang ringer top well, volume rocker and of course ang kanyang sim slot which can host one sim and the other one is an eSIM. And ang likod niya is pretty much a triple camera setup. The other one is a light laser sensor. How I wish, pwede ko on to. Now, one big announcement na sinabi ni Apple, it's that iPhone 40 doesn't have a mini anymore. Dahil, well, it only accounts for just 5% ng sales nila from last year, last generation. So, they decided to drop it, but they add something new. This time around, meron siyang iPhone 14. 14 Plus, 14 Pro, and 14 Pro Max. Well, it's up to you kung anong tigin nyo na just saksakto sa inyong kailangan. But I think the iPhone 13 Pro Max, palaban pa rin siya this 2022. But of course, I might be wrong, but I just want to wait for the full actual item na dumating dito sa aking channel for me to test it out before I can give you my honest take of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And of course, with that said and done guys, if you want to have an update kung kailan it release dito sa Philippines ang iPhone 14 series from Beyond the Box, I'll be follow me sa akin Facebook page. I'll be posting all the updates there. And of course, I also do have my own personal website, www.gadgetpsychic.com and I will post everything there. 
to update you. So guys, kung nagustuhan nito video nito, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon para di naman miss mga future uploads dito sa akin channel. And so, ako para search mo, and you're watching Gadget Psyche. Wata!